By looking at patterns related to similar triangles, it is possible to make some generalizations that allow us to solve problems related to right triangles. First, let's review what similar means. Triangles are similar if they are the same shape. They don't need to be the same size or the same orientation, but they must include the same angles. The triangles shown are similar. Notice that they all have the same three angles. The sides across angles of the same size are said to be corresponding. So the four blue sides correspond, the four green sides correspond, and the four red sides correspond. In the module, you saw that an important characteristic of similar triangles is that the ratios of corresponding side lengths of similar triangles are always the same. This means that for each of these triangles, the lengths of the green side divided by the lengths of the blue sides is equal. Similarly, dividing the lengths of the red sides by the lengths of the blue sides will give the same value for each of the triangles. By itself, this fact allows you to solve for one unknown side when given a pair of similar triangles. This is a type of problem you solved in grade 9. This is a good type of problem to know how to solve, but we're looking to solve more complex problems. Now that we've reviewed the meaning of similar, we can explore another big idea. If two right triangles contain an identical acute angle, the two triangles are similar. Let's look at why this is true. Here are two right triangles, each with a 24 degree angle. Because they're right triangles, we also know that each includes a 90 degree angle. We also know that the three angles in any triangle sum to 180 degrees, so the only possibility for the third angle is 66 degrees. Both triangles include the same angles, so they must be similar. If you know one acute angle of a right triangle, the other value can always be determined. So if two right triangles include the same acute angle, they must both include the same three angles and be similar. We've now discussed two ideas related to triangles. If two right triangles contain the same acute angle, they must be similar. If two triangles are similar, the ratios of corresponding sides are always the same. From these two ideas, we can draw the conclusion all right triangles containing an identical acute angle have the same ratios of corresponding sides. So for our right triangles with 24 degree angles, the length of the blue side divided by the length of the green side gives the same value for both triangles, and the length of the red side divided by the length of the green side gives the same value for both triangles, and so on. We can use this rule to represent many triangles using a table. For example, we can draw a right triangle with an acute angle theta, and focus on the ratio of the length that is opposite theta to the length that is adjacent to theta. If theta is 1 degree, then this ratio is approximately 0.0175. If theta is 2 degrees, the ratio is approximately 0.0349, and so on. This ratio is called the tangent ratio. Notice that the tangent ratio includes two short sides of the triangle. The longest side, which is always across from the right angle, is called the hypotenuse and is not used with the tangent ratio. The tangent of 5 degrees is approximately 0.0875. So for any right triangle with a 5 degree angle, if you divide the length of the side opposite the 5 degree angle by the length of the side adjacent to the 5 degree angle, you'll get approximately 0.0875. Similarly, the tangent of 8 degrees is approximately 0.1405. So for any right triangle with an 8 degree angle, if you divide the length of the side opposite the 8 degree angle by the length of the side adjacent to the 8 degree angle, you'll get approximately 0.1405. Knowing these ratios will allow you to solve problems that involve triangles with incomplete information.